If you're new or haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified for every new recipes. Hey guys, welcome back to Tanya's Kitchen. So today I'm going to be showing you an amazing appetizer. It's called air fried green peppers. That's right, they're super simple and they're very quick to make if you have a sudden guest at home coming at home and you know like 10 minutes, they're gonna just 10 minutes away. This is a perfect dish and perfect appetizer that you can make for them. Uh, it doesn't require a lot of time, a lot of ingredients, very simple and everybody has these ingredients at their home. So let me just quickly go through the ingredients and let's start cooking. Okay, so first thing what I have here, I have these uh, green peppers that I slice them in these round circles you can see. And you wanna make you don't wanna make them too thick or too thin, just like a good circle that when it's coated properly and air fry it comes out beautifully. And then in this plate I have some Italian seasoning, uh, breadcrumbs, Italian seasoning breadcrumbs, and I have some uh, five cheese mix of five cheese. If you want, you can just do mozzarella cheese. And over here I have some all-purpose flour, one egg, salt, baking soda. Some water for the mixture of baking, uh, for the mixture of all-purpose flour, a whisker, and a fork. And now, if you don't have um, uh, uh, Italian seasoning breadcrumbs, that's fine. That's fine. Just take normal breadcrumbs, and you can get this Italian seasoning from the store, and just add it to your breadcrumbs. And there you go. Your Italian seasoning breadcrumbs is ready. It's that simple. But I'm not going to use this today, I just wanted to show you because I already have the uh, breadcrumbs that is seasoned with Italian seasoning. So first things first, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to mix this uh, cheese and breadcrumbs really nicely. You want to give it a good mix so that when you dip the peppers in here, everything is coated. Like you get good amount of cheese and good amount of Italian, uh, not Italian seasoning, good amount of breadcrumb also. And I love this appetizer because uh, it's not very really unhealthy. If you want, you can deep fry them also, but um, I'm just gonna air fry them because I just love, love air frying things. And uh, it's a lot, uh, It's I mean, it's a lot easy. You don't have to clean up a lot in the end because when you deep fry, you have to empty the pan and do this and that. So I don't really like that. So that is why I, I prefer deep uh, Air frying. Sorry, I'm so confused. Anyways, so my this thing is right, ready right here. And now what I'm going to do is, let me just keep this aside for now. Take this here, closer to me. And I am going to add baking soda and salt in here. Just a little whisk. And you can find the exact ingredients and description and entire recipe in the description box below. There will be a link. You can go to my website. Uh, it will take you to my website actually and you can check out everything. And you can also check out other recipes. So just a slight mix. That's enough. And now I'm going to add one egg for a good binding. Perfect. And now I'm just gonna whisk this really nicely and add water little by little and I'm gonna see how much I need according to the thickness because I wanna keep it a batter, I wanna keep this thickness as a batter like where I can dip my peppers and not everything just flows away but sticks to the pepper so that is the thickness that you want. Like how you make a, your pancake batter and all that stuff. So now adding water little by little. And these are, the, these are the kind of recipes that you can also cook with your kids in the kitchen. You don't have to be scared with the flame or something because they're just going to air fry it. And it's also something they'll learn how to, they'll start learning how to cook because it's super easy and also it's a very good way of making them eat vegetables. You can see it's starting to mix properly now and I'm going to add it more water now here. Yeah. 
So I'm gonna mix it properly and when it's done, I'm gonna show it to you then. Okay, so my this uh, all-purpose flour batter is ready for the peppers to go in. I have my avocado oil ready over here, my peppers are ready, my um, cheese and bread crumb mixture is ready and I have my air fryer basket right here. So let me show you what I'm going to do now and I'm super excited to taste it actually. I mean, it didn't even go here but I'm very excited to taste it. Okay, so first thing, I'm just gonna uh, take my basket and spray avocado oil here a little bit, a tiny bit. And then, okay, so you want to take a pepper, I'm taking this pepper, dip it in here. So you want it to coat like nicely like this, and then just take it entire thing here and give it. And do the same with the other. You want to coat it very nicely so that you get a very nice and crispy green pepper. Once you air fry them, and now I'm going to take this here and just sprinkle on them. Going to be delicious. Okay. And now I'm just gonna pick it up like so and keep it in my air fryer. Wow. Do the same here. Make sure if you're using your hand, make sure your hands are clean. Another one. And it goes in here. I think I'm gonna do four at a time. I can I'm just gonna overlap it a little bit. And this goes here. Another one. So I'm gonna do the same for all of it and show it to you once I'm done. And but for now, I'm just gonna place it in the uh, air fryer at 360 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes and see how they look. And if they're not done, I'm gonna do it another five minutes. So I'll show it to you once they're done. Okay, guys. So you guys can see how it delicious, beautiful, and crispy, and the presentation. I mean, everything looks delicious. So this is how I like this one. You can also serve like this, like just top it off like with each other and make it a towel kind of thing so this is I just love it and once again I baked it for not baked it sorry I air fried it for eight minutes and it was literally less than 10 minutes so that's why I was telling you guys if you have any guests coming in like 10 minutes just it's the best thing to make it and you can see it looks very crispy also so let's go ahead and do the taste of thing so it's very hot so just be careful I have some tomato ketchup here that I'm serving it with Crunchy guys, oh my god. Mm, 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 mm. So good. The cheese, the breadcrumbs, it's giving it amazing flavor. And yeah, it's just perfect. It's a perfect appetizer. So if you guys like my recipes, please don't forget to subscribe, give a thumbs up, and share my recipes. Help me get more subscribers. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next recipe. Bye bye.